You probably opened up your Nintendo Switch to see that there is a new update on version 1.1.2 and as of May 25th, duplication in 1.1.2 is no longer functional. This is going to stop duplication forever, but we're going to go ahead and see what we can and can't do when we go into it. A lot of glitches have been patched and it's obvious because all of the internet's doing it and it makes Zelda a little too easy as it is supposed to be a lot of a harder game and things are supposed to break. Let's get into it. The glitch where you grab a bow and attach an item on it, that one is completely gone. You cannot do that anymore. That is patched so you cannot duplicate items by switching out your bow. Then we also made another glitch on the channel called the Infinite Hylian Shield glitch. This one was my favorite because having multiple of your favorite weapons and shields and bows was a great way to keep yourself stocked up and ready to go in this game. But apparently that's also gone too because it requires you to do some pausing. So any kind of pause glitches are also knocked out. So if you have a bunch of Hylian Shields, I suggest you start using Octorox to repair them and hold on to your duped weapons by nonstop repairing them. Do not let them break, hold on to them. We also talked about a crazy glitch on the channel where you can steal the master sword before ganon completely destroys it that one is also patched this is the one where you get the glitched out message not found master sword notification and that master sword was further discovered by the glitch community to be able to fuse with weapons to duplicate even more and then add on the bonuses and make this ultimate master sword that entire glitch is patched as well because the master sword requires a whole pause pause plus plus thing where you drop the weapon and you have a duplicate so that is also shot so if you have your Master Sword that is glitched in, well, then you can keep it. But if you don't have it, it's gone. There was also an accidental glitch that happened with cooked food that if you were to consume one of your main items from your food and then eat it and then buy something that was seared, it would then replace the effects of your food. That is also patched. That doesn't exist anymore in the game either. So, But the good news is if you do have some of that food and you do update, that food effect does remain in the game. There was also a funny glitch called the transmutation glitch where it would eat an item to the right of your inventory when you select an item. It had to be at the bottom slot. Otherwise, it was going to eat something else from your menu, which I did in a video. And that was the kind of the lame method of doing it because it consumed items if people messed up. That one also has gotten patched as well as the one we have talked about in the beginning of the video, where it was simply just you duplicate items by shield surfing and stopping midair. People were trying to get really fancy with this by jumping off cliffs, by going to the water temple in zero gravity areas and just duping 20 at a time. That is all patched. So should you update to the next version? Well, if you want to hold on to your duping, probably not. And if your system already updated, well, don't worry, the glitch community is already working nonstop and very hard at trying to figure out the exploits for the next one. It's always going to happen. Nintendo's going to go ahead and patch something. The glitch community will try to figure out the next exploit. The YouTubers will cover it. Nintendo will be like, oh my gosh, there's a new update. And then it's it's the circle of content, okay? It's the circle of content and gameplay. We, we're going to have to talk about it because that's how it gets out to everyone. That's how everyone can benefit. And then Nintendo's going to be like, whoa, what's going on? And then it just happens over again. So uh, be safe with your with your gameplay. Save what you got to do. Um, and if you need to know exactly where to stop updates, make sure to go ahead when you open up your home menu, go to your settings. And in your settings, you want to go down all the way down to where it says auto update software and turn that off. That way, when you're at, if you if you messed up on the whole, you missed out on 1.1.1 glitches. Well, when the 1.1.2 glitches happen, that way you can be safe, have it off, your Switch will not auto-update, and you won't be able to be surprised by it. Anyway, I hope this helped you all out. Good luck with your gameplays in Tears of the Kingdom. We're covering legit guides on the channel as well, so there's a lot of legit ways to do things as well while you're waiting for the glitched out versions. I'll cover both. Listen, I want everyone to play the game the way they want to, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to be on top of all this stuff. Take care.